Hey guys, welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Highways and Byways. Highways and Byways is for two to four players by Pangea Games and is for ages 10 and up and takes about 45 minutes to about an hour to play the game. In the game Highways and Byways is you're going to get a car and you're going to be traveling across the United States of America. In which case you're going to be then selecting different points of interest. You're going to go in and go from one freeway to another freeway, from one highway to another highway, so on and so forth, collecting different routes. And as you collect different routes, you're going to need to end up going back to your home base, all while at the same time having different things happen to you, like these event cards. You're going to have a hand of cards, which you yourself will not be picking from, but your opponents will be. And then once they pick that card, you'll be using that card. It could be something that's going to help you, or it could be something that's going to hurt you, depending on what they pick. And you're going to try and want to hand management uh, yourself so that you're going to have good cards to pick. However, at the end of a certain period of time, your hand is going to go to your opponent, and your opponent is going to give you their hand instead. So you want to kind of facilitate your hand to be useful for you while at the same time at the end of the round no longer useful for you for your opponent and it has kind of negative cards in there and so yeah you're basically traveling around collecting different points and avoiding all the hazards and nastiness along the way with your kind of uh, poorly used older vehicle throughout the game highways and byways let's go ahead and take a look so here we have all the things included in highways and byways and as you can see you get a board you're going to be using token markers that'll be used for your highways and different byways as well as your home base and your vehicle which will be transporting yourself around the United States. You're also going to be choosing a car at the beginning of the game. They have a different plethora of cars and they all have their own unique abilities as well as getting construction cards. These are going to be showing you different locations in which are going to be closed and it's going to be these white areas here where you'll no longer be able to access at certain points throughout the game and they're going to go right over here. You're also going to get your deck of cards that are for your events and they're going to have different things in here that will have different um, object uh, different things going to happen like you're going to increase your speed, reduce your speed, get into access accidents, there's going to be weather and all that kind of stuff as you travel around, as well as two decks. You've got the red byways and the blue byway cards, and these are going to be used for setup to determine where you're going to be needing to go throughout the game. Lastly but not least, you're also going to be getting player cards that will indicate how you're supposed to take your turn and how these are going to pass around different players depending on who's going to start off as the first player. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about how to play the game. So to begin the game for setup, it's pretty simple. You're going to be taking cards from the red and the blue decks, and you'll kind of be doing a little bit of a draft, which I'll show you below. In which you're going to be taking a card and passing one to your opponent and they're going to take a card and pass one as well until they're going to have locations. They're going to have one location to another location and then you're going to set it up on the board with your little tokens to indicate where you need to start from where you need to end up at. As well as after all that is done being set up as well as your car and your home base being placed you're then going to take your cards. Each player is going to get one starting with the first player and then the second, third, and fourth will get these guys here and you're going to be taking turns and on your turn you're going to do a couple things. Clockwise players pick event cards from your hand. So to begin as the first player, you're going to show your hand to the players without them looking at what cards they are, and they're going to pick a card from your hand. Then you're going to resolve the card and move six spaces. Now, obviously, you might not move six spaces if an event uh, pops up that's going to be negative for you, or you could move additional spaces if something good happens as well. You can trade extra spaces for discarding cards. One space is a discard, draw one, and you could also draw um, the top event card from the deck. Five construction card slots filled up. If that, that happens, basically, you're going to then uh, shuffle all all, uh, distribute all the cards from your hand to another player and they will do the same as well shuffle the construction deck and then start over again uh, after that you're going to turn over the first construction card and continue play like that pretty simple though drawing a card from somebody's hand they're going to then do that action same would go for everybody else and every round you're going to flip over into construction card to show you what roads are going to be pff, not working anymore and after they're all filled up then you have that little uh, round robin thing going on in the next turn the objective of the game is to complete all of your highways and byways Ways and get back to your home base before anybody else. Let me go ahead and show you the setup as well as a couple turns of play. All right, so to start setup for the game, all you need to do is have each player choose a car. We'll do a two player setup just so you can get a good idea of it. We'll have this player, uh, he'll go ahead and choose the station wagon and this player will choose the soccer mobile. You're also going to give the first player marker to the first player and then the second to th fourth player uh, markers over to the other players. Take the rest of the cards and take them away. After that, you give every single player five event cards. This will be the hand of event cards they're gonna start with and they're always gonna have five cards their hand at the end of the game and you're also then going to give every player their vehicle 
as well as their home base. And then these markers, which will indicate the locations that you need to travel on. So whenever you're going to get these red byways or blue byway cards, you're gonna be placing these things onto the board. And you're going to then start drafting after pushing, putting all the construction cards onto the board here. So there's gonna be five of them, put them, shuffle them up and put them down on the board just like this. Now you're gonna do the draft phase and I'll explain a little bit of the draft and then we're gonna scoot on ahead and I will kind of fast forward it for us. So the first thing that's gonna happen is the first player will draw two of these cards, look at them, determine determine which one he wants, and then he's going to keep that and give the other one to the next player. The next player will then draw a card, choose one, keep it, and give the other card to the other player. Draw a card, choose one of these, uh, keep it, and then give it to the other player. And then finally draw one, choose one, keep it, and return it to the deck. It would work the same way with three and four players as well. And so everybody should be having two of the red byway cards. And at what point when you get these cards, you're then going to look and see where they are and place down your markers that are going to associate with the cards here. So if we're going to look over here, this one here is going to indicate that it's going to be this road right here. So we'll just place that there. And then this one over here is going to indicate that it's this right here. So that's no longer, these cards are no longer needed now, it shows you. And over here, for this player, the green one, it's going to show you this location over here. So it'll be over here. And then this location over here, this is a big long one right here. And it's going to go right here, uh, right there. Yep. These are gone as well. You'll do the same thing for the blue cards up until 10 locations here. You're going to be drawing two, choosing one, passing it back and forth and doing the draft. We're going to go ahead and scoot on ahead and we'll continue from there. Okay, so we went ahead and set up the board, and as you can see, everybody's got their space. Now, what I forgot to mention as well is that there is home bases, and you need to go ahead and place your home as well as your car in any of these blue uh, star areas first before you do the draft. So that way you know where you're trying to be at. So as I, as you can see, this a green player chose this one over here, and the blue one chose this one over here. And all the blue spots, these little areas here, where the blue needs to go, it needs to go from one side to the other, and it doesn't matter which side they go on. These are just points of interest. Uh, and also, they have their own unique cars. This one here says every time he uses the discard action he can discard two and draw two you can choose to not move your full movement and for every uh, space you choose not to move you can discard a card from your hand and draw a new one but this guy can do it uh, discard two and draw two so that's kind of cool this guy over here at the end of your turn you're normally going to draw a card into your hand after you're using a card the an event card from an opponent when they pull one out of your hand in this case though he gets to draw two and discard one so that's useful as well now to start the game it's pretty simple you're going to go uh, go ahead and have a player choose a card from his hand so the player in clockwise rotation and it's a two-player game he's going to choose a card from this player's hand randomly and pull it and then they're going to read it this one says drive towards canada traffic so at the start of your turn you have to be in the same space or a space that is north of your current location so this player here green has to be north of his current location Otherwise, he's not able to do it. He has to satisfy that condition. Now he is able to, like the card says, move up to six spaces. So he will go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, and six. He has now went six spaces. He went across this blue area over here, and he's going to take this point of interest because he has managed to uh, complete it. And also, he has to make sure he fulfills the card, and he did. He is now north of his current location, so that event card has been completed correctly. After that, he didn't choose to discard, uh, not choose to move his entire movement, so he's not going to be discarding. So we're going to move on to drawing the top card of the event deck. So he'll take this and draw it. And then if there's five construction cards filled up, uh, flipped over, then there's going to be something that happens, but this is not the case right now. So everybody is going to, uh, so then you're going to go ahead and just turn over a construction card just like, uh, just like this. So now this means that all the C roads are closed. Anybody on a C road is going to lose their turn and anybody else can no longer travel across these C areas over here. They're white ones. Now the next player is going to get to go and he is going to do, it's going to be the same thing, right? The a pl a player clockwise order is going to choose a card at random from his hand, flip that card over. Traffic, y'all come back now. At the end of your turn, you must be on the same space or space that is south of your current location. So Blue's like, okay, he has to go south and he'll go one, two, uh, three, four, five, and uh, six. And that'll take this one. He's gonna cross this area here. That's one less for him as well. And that means that he's accomplished his goal basically. And he's actually still south of his current location. So that's gonna work out just fine for him. Uh, remember at the end of his turn, he's going to draw up because of his special ability, he'll draw two and choose one and discard the other. 
So he's going to have his hand. You can always look at the cards in your hand to see what they do. It's your opponents that can't, and they're the ones they're going to choose. So after he's gone ahead and discarded that card, he no longer needs that card, then it's going to go onto the first player's turn once again, and he's going to have his opponent pick another card, flip it over, and see what it does. Whether, that means that if you're in the green or the yellow area, he's going to lose, he can only move four spaces, so he'll lose two spaces this turn, but he's not in that location, so he's okay, he can move his full six. So we can go one, two, three four, five, and six. That's going to get him to the red area, but that's not going to get him across, so he's not going to get that. And uh, after that, he's simply going to draw um, a card, and he's going to go ahead and flip this on over, and now the A roads are closed. Every single time the first player takes their turn, at the end of it, you're going to flip one of these over. And players are going to keep doing that, collecting the points of interest on the map. As these get flipped over, eventually all these white roads are going to end up being closed, until the last turn, which all of these are showing, in which case, everybody is going to then pass their hand to the player um, in clockwise order. So this player will get this hand and this player will get this one. If it was four players, we'll just go around in a circle. You're going to take this construction deck just like this and you're going to go ahead and shuffle them. And then you're going to place them back down again and flip over the next, uh, the road to show which one's closed. And the game is going to continue. Players just need to keep going across the board, trying to find points of interest, taking these off until eventually all of the points of interest on the map that they need have been collected by them. And after that, all they need to do is return home. Whoever makes it first to their home base with all of their points of interest collected is going to be the winner of the game, Highways and Byways. Okay, so a couple caveats now as well. First of all, whenever uh, you start the game and you're going Going ahead and doing all the drafting of the cards remember that after you finish drafting you can select along with everybody else either one of your red highways and slash byways and take that off and not use that for the game or you can select two blue ones everybody's going to have that option to take away uh, certain ones that are not going to work so well for you because in the draft you might not get a couple cards you're not going to you're going to get a couple cards you're not going to want and if that's the case you're going to get that little bonus of taking one away i'm not sure if i explained that or not but just in case i didn't you're going to have that little bonus which is nice also we're going to talk about a couple more of the event cards to see what they do so i can show them to you blue sky supercar hold hold until construction is shuffled you're immune to weather events these cards here are going to show you the show people that uh, you are no longer affected by certain events in the event deck. You're going to simply, once they're taken out of your hand from your opponent, you're going to place it in front of you, and until the construction deck has been shuffled, all five of those cards that show the roads are closed, then you're going to be, you're going to be able to use this as a power and to, uh, power up until that happens, in which case it'll go to the discard pile. So that's kind of nice. Uh, duct tape fixes all. Hold until construction, you're immune to repair events because duct tape is going to protect your car. A bit of a scrape, so you get into an accident. Either move three spaces today or swap out uh, zero to two event cards randomly with any other player. And so there's a plethora of different action cards that will be taking place throughout the game as you go across. But I just want to go ahead and mention a couple of those important things before we get into my review of the game. All right, guys, so what do I think about highways and byways of the game? Well, first of all, it's got some cool artwork. It reminds me kind of like the primary, and I like that style of vibrant artwork. It has a little bit of a ticket to ride feel as well because you're moving around the map instead of placing trains down though, but it plays completely differently. What's really interesting about this game is you're going to be giving cards, you're going to be having your opponent choose cards from your hand. So it has this weird hand management aspect of you want to make sure they pull good cards from your hand, but by the time you have to pass your hand because of all the construction cards being out, you want them to get all the bad cards from your hand, and that's going to be very useful, specifically if you get luck and get enough power cards. So these event decks can have a little bit of luck involved in the game. However, your movement is going to be the most important thing. You're going to be able to analyze the board and see where it's best for you to go, depending on not only the events and which ones they pop up, or whether or not you don't even want to move because you'd rather discard your hand, uh, discard cards from your hand, and draw instead of moving, as well as making sure that you use your vehicle's abilities and not forgetting these guys, because there's some cool things. The Ancient One is immune to accidents or repairs. Uh, the 5-0 can move an extra space when um, one of your positive event cards is drawn. And you got like the Cowboy over here, which is immune to traffic and weather events. So they all have their own unique abilities, but they're all very, very similar and very, very fair in my opinion. This game is definitely, the first thing I'd say about it is very, very cut close. Not cutthroat, but close. And you kind of are doing your own thing in the game, until certain things happen or occur to you, you're not really worried about where your opponents are moving necessarily, but it's more about what they're going to be drawing and kind of trying to persuade them to like pick this one or that one. That's kind of a fun aspect of the game. I like that. Like, we should definitely pick this card. This is the good one. And I like that kind of little 
almost like a bluffing aspect of the game because you know what are in your hand and it's going to affect your turn. So cool. And then all of that, the, the drafting aspect is pretty interesting at the beginning of the game where you're going to be choosing different highways and byways. That is almost a game in of itself because you want to kind of create the best route around the United States as you possibly can to make sure that you kind of loop around and get back to your home base. When I played this game, the, um, the first, second, and third game, I was literally one to two sp uh, turns away from either winning or losing the game. So it was always very very close if you like this vibrant art and you enjoy games like ticket to ride and the primary these kind of like um they're, they're 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 a little cutthroat they're a little bit competitive but realistically it's all about using your noggin to get the best locations for the best possible aspects on your turn all while with a little bit of randomness from this event deck overall i love this game it's so much fun we had a great amount of great time playing it plays really well two players three and even four players i didn't have a problem with any of them and sometimes i would usually say that in a two-player game like i wouldn't want to play as much ticket to ride two-player but this one really worked for me and i really enjoyed that so nonetheless you can go ahead and decide yourself but for me it's definitely a good game i'm gonna be keeping it all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer kickstarter board game review if you like this video you can check out the rest of our videos here on youtube like subscribe and comment it all does help and we greatly appreciate it as well as checking out highways and byways coming to kickstarter if it's not already there and going ahead and checking out our website unfilteredgamer.com we got tons of blog posts giveaways kickstarter lists and more we're also going to give away the game batman that's currently up for a giveaway right now get it before it's gone as well as checking out our friends affiliates everythingboardgames.com the giveaway game Geek, and my personal friend Ferdinand, the cardboard stacker. He does a great job in tutorials and they have a bunch of great giveaways on their sites. All right, guys, well, that's all I got for this one. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.